Get it tested on all this. <laughs> oh! See, they put the working group with the collaboration. I think I'm going to be going home and work with the computer tonight a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Oh, all of this. Okay. You get some books on mushrooms? Yes, I think so. I think I'll start with the for sure shirt identification. This was the U, right? Yeah. Yes. The bad you. That's right. And the grand. So and it's still that's an alder tree. Oh. The bark's kind of generally smoother, and uh, often has patches of white lichen up it. There's another alder tree. There's a dead one. So, uh, this we looked at the rusula. We looked at that short-stemmed white rusula and also the um, shrimp brucilla, which is a really good eating mushroom. So that whole category of mushrooms I didn't mention, one of their features is they're brittle, and they break like chalk. So this is kind of their, their cousins. They're similar. They, as you can see, it just broke like chalk. Sure. It's off of its stem. It's been curled so, cap, but then it opens up to more of a flat, almost a little bit of a concave there. And the gills go down the stalk. And it has this slime layer on top that uh, you can peel off. And especially when they're like in fresher condition, you can peel the whole slime layer right off of them. And these are edible. Yeah. And then you fling them at red huckleberries if you can find them. <laughs> and the underside, part of it's eaten by a slug, but it has a spongy pore layer. And they're really big pores. The... There's a bit of a skirt left. You can see some tissue on the stalk where the tissue broke away that was covering the pores and left a bit of a ring. And then the base of it, when you scrape it, is yellow fleshed and then it stains green. So um, that, the only thing about this is I'm not used to this stem being thin like this. So it's, I don't know if it quite fits the characteristic of what it should be. because Just because of that one feature makes me go, hmm, I'm not so above sure. It. And burgundy below. And then really staining where I scratch, scratched it. West, Here, give it a what's fresh. This, what's it called? Western, Western Painted Suillus. It's a common edible mushroom. A bit of a ring. And it's really different color above the stem and below. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't have a ring. So I know that it's not one of the two species that fit all these characteristics, but it's very likely edible. I just don't know it. Mm -hmm. so Good find! Leave it to the huckleberries! That's a poisonous one, eh? Yeah, um, for most likely. This is um, a type of amanita. We need to find you with some berries though, but it wasn't a super great huckleberry year right around here. Mm -hmm. Nancy, Wait, you want to try it? Is it edible? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. It's red huckleberry. Drippy. Drippy. <laughs> it's very slimy, isn't it? Yeah. Does it have gills or what does it have under? Nothing. Oh, it, it must be a. It must be a bow leaf. Mm. This must be small, like pores. That are... So even the morel mushrooms, which are really well sought after, they should be cooked or dried. Um, they're they're uh, in that family. The false morel is a deadly poisonous mushroom. Yeah. Yeah. Color, it's a really beautiful, like you start to see burgundy in the forest uh, as you're driving down roads, and that's the catkins. And they're yes. edible and really high in protein, but they're oh, a bit the bitter. Are? They're bitter though. Powerful oh. antibiotic. 
So you can use it internally or externally. And then your leaves and berries? The, for the antibiotic, yeah. it's the leaves and the roots. Oh, okay. Right and, and uh, almost yellowy. Is that a bigger one? Here? Right behind you? Yeah, right. Or yeah. So yeah. See if the. And that's winter chanterelle? This is a winter chanterelle. So it actually usually grows in huge clusters of. Um, on rotting wood. Has the, the base of it gets a bit brighter. Um, almost oh, yellowy yeah. orange, oh, yeah. and the the yeah. top has a, a hole in it, a bit of a funnel shape. This one, this, this was a duck like for this tree that's dead the, right here. Um, this one yeah. here, the stem yeah. is almost the size of my pinky. Right. The okay. stem of this little guy, it's yeah. got that white flesh inside of it. This is pearly, pearly everlasting. It's in your hand out. Um, distinctive arrow shape with. These are actually usually pointier. And what is this? It's um, sorrel. Is one a common name for it? Yeah. Sorrel. It's oxalic, ox oxalis. And then this is the leaves of of uh, oh, like young, a, young a certain kind of daisy, oxide daisy. Green, green, so this green. is edible too.